What's up, guys? I'm Saywolf. Welcome back. We are, uh, we're playing, I don't even remember the name of the game, Chris. What have I done? Yo, I was about what to say, who's we? <laughs> who's we? <laughs> uh, I'm here with High Time Gamers. High Time Creations. Sorry, oh, I, I have, oh, I oh fucked this God. all up. <laughs> you had one job. No, okay, okay, let me start over. Um, what's up guys? My name is Saywolf, and this is my channel, Saywolf1, and we're playing Moriari... I don't even remember the name of the game. I'm here with High Time Creations member Chris, and he's gonna play this game with me. <laughs> uh, what I did want to say is I have done my research on this game. Um, someone had to because obviously Sable wasn't. And this game is really interesting because it does, it breaks visual brand, excuse me, visual boundaries <laughs> of games in 2016. <laughs> I can't it, even it, fucking keep a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> it breaks the visual boundaries. It, it adds new elements, new, new depth of field as you can see. Um, what they've done, what they've chosen to do in this engine is remove shadows altogether to improve the um, And it is at a set and gorgeous resolution of 20 by 20 pixels for your ultimate viewing pleasure. So, what this means but, is for And, us and sci scientifically, the, the human eye can't even see any better resolution than that anyway. Yeah, so, I heard it was something like 16 by 16 pixels, so that's perfect. So fine. this is like this is like way better yeah. than the human eye can and, even can even like fathom. <laughs> I'll let you read that, Chris. I can't even keep a fucking straight face through this, man. Go. Sometimes daddy lets us pat <laughs> the sheep on their head. They're so soft. Okay. Um should we just go around and see what everybody has to say? Yeah, sure. Did you Did hear you? about the boy? Oh, so, sorry, sorry, sorry. We, we, no, no, we're going to do go one ahead, one? Go no, let's do one one. Your turn. Okay. Did you hear about the boy? Julia lost her son in the cave shortly after her husband died. Poor oh, Julia. I would never let my boys go out of my sight. You need to stay close to Mama. Otherwise, she'll worry that we've <laughs> run off. <laughs> okay. Fucking baby Bruce Wayne over here. <laughs> <laughs> my prayers go out to poor Julia. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My prayers go out to poor Julia. It's been a year since her husband has passed. <laughs> Damn it, Chris! I can't fucking do that. Hell, Ducky X is coming for you, bro. <laughs> It's been a year since her husband has passed. She hasn't been seen all day. I imagine she is grieving. Do you mind visiting her at her home? It is the house to the right as you leave town. So I'm guessing that's stop? that's to leave town. So we need to go visit her. Let's visit her. Into Kevin. Oh, you can actually, oh, this is like Skyrim, bro. You can go into every house. This is this, this is, this is, is like, better than Skyrim. Better than Skyrim. Check out that resolution. I can totally tell what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not even lying. Dude, I, I'm curious. Yeah, I was about to say. Oh, there it is. Wanna... There it is. Oh, there it is. We I don't wonder... even need to look at the picture. It tells us what it is. <laughs> no, dude. I was about to say. Um, I wonder what the points of interest on the shelf is. <laughs> yeah, for real. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta look at it. it. Says there is a picture on the shelf of a wife, husband, and young boy. I wonder where they are. So should we just no explore? Oh, should we explore all the cabins? I don't. That's what you get. Oh being God! Black and American. <laughs> oh hello. <laughs> it's Blacksmith Larry. They keep him locked up in here. <laughs> he's, the, he's the chef. It looks like a lovely day outside. You should head out to the farm if you get the chance. Spend some time with the animals. Dude, what are we like the town dummy or something? Everybody wants us to spend time with the sheep. <laughs> like go go play with go play with the sheep. Get out of my hair, man. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is the only voiceover they did in the whole game. They actually voiced the sheep. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and for some reason, it says poke sheep. Poke them. <laughs> no, like like is like am I poking them with my finger, or is there some kind of hidden innuendo that I don't know about? 
I believe I actually believe this is oh, a good God. contender for ooh, for most uh, immersive game 2016. I found Hagrid. <laughs> Picked up lantern on the stump. Oh dude, check out my hand! Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh it does a sway! That's the best looking hand in the whole game! Look, look at his hands! It's the only hand in the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his hands, though, and check out mine. Like, there's like a. <laughs> You're a wizard. Harry. That's why one looks at you so funny. You're not even from here. You're from like another plane <laughs> of existence. We're, we're from a different game. <laughs> 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 it's like the hand from I don't know if you've seen a scary movie, like the second one. Yeah. That dude with the tiny <laughs> hand. <laughs> My brother and I were chopping wood when my herd moans coming from the cave. <laughs> my brother went to investigate. He should have been back by now. I'm worried. Can you check on him? There's a lantern behind you on that stone. I already you mean this lantern? I already picked it up, dummy. Oh. Ooh. Well, that's hey, all you. Is. Come over here. <laughs> 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 No. Now I get to try and be an American. <clears throat> Did my brother send you here? Bless him. <laughs> the moans are coming from further down. I'd go in, but my sight's no good because my eyes are single pixels. Why the fuck did he come into the cave to investigate if he can't fucking see? <laughs> he's gotten he's gotten lost in that it's dark like, corner. He can't even find his way out now. It's like he took ten steps and got lost. <laughs> <laughs> like the brother, exit is Brother, where are you? <laughs> it's still your turn, bro. Oh you should take the Well no, I lost my voice. No. You should take this here knife. Now I'm going fucking Morgan Freeman. Who knows <laughs> what you may need it. Oh, this is... Oh, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Can you use it? Can you use it? I'm gonna try. I don't know how. No, I can't. I'm just walking around. I look so inconspicuous. This is scarier than I thought it would be. <laughs> like... No, suddenly it's not so funny. Suddenly, all my something something is scary. I wish this game was what it used to be. Oh, I believe it was funny. <gasps> what is this? What? There is a book on top of this pedestal that is Touch labeled the farmers. <laughs> <laughs> There's a list of names inside. <laughs> okay. JJ. Big Knob <laughs> Chop. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how he got that name. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. He must be ca he must be packing a few extra pixels if you know what I mean. So so wait wait wait, do you think do you think uh, Mr. Big Knob Big Knob Chop <laughs> is the reason for uh, the moaning in the cave? <laughs> that is a good question. I guess we'll find out. Because I didn't. That a that's actually no, 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 bro. That's a really good question. It's nice. It, this is the way we haven't gone. And, and we're here all emasculated with our little shove. Yeah, because we're. Bro, I hear moaning. I can't hear it. I'm gonna try. <gasps> to... Okay. <Ooh. laughs> Jesus. A farmer <laughs> approaches. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, I'm highly suspicious of this individual. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Big Knob Job? Why do you have blood on your overalls? Why do you have a knife? <laughs> I heard moanings. What have you done? <laughs> uh, you have to. You have to. The same thing you do to the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't resist. Uh, what do, which free, one do I bro. pick? I'm saying it's for you. I have to hear what the moan's reason is. I didn't kill the lady. Okay. <laughs> I didn't say you killed anybody. I just asked you what happened. 
Why well, well, do you have blood on your own? Yeah. Jog gun. What? Okay. <laughs> Why do you have a knife? I, I hope some someone move on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you know what? I I feel really really good about this guy. I think he's innocent. I'm just gonna. All right, I'll let you go. Oh, uh, goodbye. Okay, I'm just gonna let him go. I love if we go back to the village and everyone has been murdered. <laughs> I came here to end my life. My name is Julia, and I want to see my child and husband in heaven. It's bleak. Oh, okay, so we let him pass. He wasn't really a murderer, he was just... Okay. He was genuinely helping someone move on. He <laughs> was being truthful! Weird! Um, my husband was a miner in these caves. He spent days mining for gold, and then... Uh, one day he found something. He found a golden <laughs> nugget. I thought we could retire and be comfortable for the rest of our lives. Maybe her husband's big no job was golden nuggets. Uh, but he didn't trust me. He buried the gold nugget to spite me. Then he disappeared. But everyone in the town heard about our good fortune. Our good what? Our good fortune. They thought I was rich. I was so ashamed that I couldn't tell them the truth. One day my son wandered into the cave. He wanted to find his daddy. He wanted to make everything better, but he never came back out of the cave. I went to look for him, but I couldn't find him. Now it's <laughs> too late, and I have nobody. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why the sudden change, bro? Will you help me? Will you help me end my life? That's on you, bro. <laughs> I'm not making that decision. No, I refuse. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, that's so good. That is so good. I'm trying to. I, I just picture holding up like a severed limb and squeezing it and shooting blood out at you. <laughs> oh, so I'm gonna get blamed anyway. Oh shit. Oh. oh! Jesus. Oh! <gasps> I think it's here. What? Okay, we need to make this good. We gotta make this good. Well. <laughs> See, I was taking a shit end. <laughs> Let me finish. I hear moans. What have you done? <laughs> and that's where the story shall end, at least for now. <laughs> It is up to the next player of this game to choose your fate, just as you chose for the previous player. Oh, that's interesting. Oh. So every time you... Oh, I see. I see what happened. That's... that. Now, now, genuinely, that's actually a really cool mechanic. I don't know if it's true or not, but it's, ne it's neat that, you know... Oh, th dude, those were the names in the farm. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, shit. it is. What is, what is our name? Big no job. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh dude all the answers we gave oh my god <gasps> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> someone's gonna play through that and get that <laughs> oh shit <laughs> Somebody's gonna come across someone with 
intestinal <laughs> distress. <laughs> it's so good. The cave pooper. You will be emailed about your fate. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. So, so, so the next time someone plays, I'll get an email to say whether we we were let live. You will let me know, right? So I can. I, I will definitely let you know. Definitely. What's up, guys? Say Wolf here. Uh, just coming back for a little bit, just to let you guys know how our adventure in Moriari ended. Mori, Moriari, Mori, Moriari, Yari. As you left the cave, you were confronted by a farmer called Way Too Offensive to put on this YouTube video. They asked, <laughs> they asked you three questions. The first question was, why do you have blood on your overalls? To which you responded, well, see, I was taking a shit and... The second question that was asked was, why do you have a knife? To which you responded, you didn't let me finish. The third question asked was, I hear moans. What have you done? To which you responded, well, I had some real bad intestinal distress. After hearing the answers, way too offensive to be put on this channel, decided to kill you with a knife from the woodchopper, which was unfortunate as you chose to spare the lives of the previous farmer, Heidi. And that draws an end to your involvement in the story. Thank you for playing. All right, guys, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more content from me or from my buddy Chris, click on one of the channel buttons right there. And there's some videos there, too, for you guys to check out if you would like. And that pretty much concludes this episode of Moirai. Moirai. I don't know how to pronounce it. Still don't know how to pronounce it. I will see you guys next time right here on Say Wolf 1. Say Wolf. Out.